What's going on guys? God bless you, Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are working on this uh, Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee. Uh, this vehicle, to be honest, from what the, the information I was able to capture, hasn't been detailed in a while, um, as well as the exterior. They say they've done their you know, their normal washes, right? But they've never had a detail extensive like this. Uh, you're gonna be so seeing some clips of really how this vehicle looks. Pet hair galore, they have two small dogs and there, <coughs> there is a lot of pet hair in this car. So today's project is gonna be a long one, extensive one. <clears throat> so I hope you guys stick around for the ending, for the final reveal on this car, um, but we are here for a interior detail and we're doing a one step paint correction on the paint with a three year ceramic coating as well. There is some scratches around the vehicle that I may have to wet sand. So we may be doing some wet sanding as well. Um, but anyways, let's get started because it's getting hot out here. All right, so the first phase uh, the customers didn't um, pay for an engine de engine bay detail, but this is a very costly project. So the least I can do is is really get them a nice engine bay detail. Um, so we're gonna do the engine. We're gonna scrub all these door panels really well. We're gonna get it ready for for the. Um, I'm going to start on the washing and cleaning and all of that, uh, and. <clears throat> Hopefully, my buddy Ivan with R5 Auto Detailing um, is able to come, and he's going to be helping me with the interior while I do the exterior. So, see if we can cut cut down on some time. But before everything, I usually start on the engine. Then I'll just um, I'll go ahead and dress it, and then I'll I'll get to really washing like the whole car and all of that. So, let's get started. Engine bay details is one of those that I think I get asked a lot about. How do I clean engines? So part one, obviously, right now the engine is off. So I am spraying super clean about four to one. Spraying all the components, all the plastics. And then I'll come back and I will do like an agitation really quick. And then that's when I turn on the engine because I want all the water to kind of like... Um, circulate out of the engine if that makes sense which probably doesn't but I've always turned the engine on because I just feel much safer for the engine to be on while I'm pressure washing everything um, and um, I don't have to worry about any type of like the water just standing there so I will um, Agitate, turn the engine on, pressure wash it off, and then while the engine is on, you will see me come back with my blower and blow everything off and then condition the engine, and then we get to the washing stage. All right, guys, so we are to the um, <clears throat> to the strip wash phase. Uh, shout out to Ivan, got here way ahead of time. So we're doing the strip wash, and while we're doing the strip wash, we're also doing the clay. This way, you pretty much knock out two things at once instead of doing the wash mitt. Usually, like I think you guys have seen me, is we'll wash mitt, right? Like this, and then we're already clean. So that speeds up the process for us. Again, some people might say, no, you gotta do the contact wash or strip wash, and then you gotta redo it and use your clay lube and do that, right? For me, let me just kill two birds in one stone and get done with it. The strip wash everything and clayed it, and this is, the true look of this paint it is extensively uh, pretty hammered and it is very faded very faded starting to reach that like oxidation phase where it's just it needs a lot of work for sure but uh, we're gonna get it looking right we're gonna get it looking right you can already see the paint is just is just faded so we're gonna bring the color back to it we're gonna get started obviously i'm doing the exterior 
Ivan will start on the interior, so let's get going. So for the paint, after doing my little test area, we're going to be using the MacShine M15 Pro G, which you can only get it in on Amazon. Um, this is like one of their limited edition polishers, I believe. Uh, pairing it with a Rupes yellow foam pad with uh, Koshemi F6, which is their medium cut, which is usually like my most favorite um, uh, product to use when it comes to corrections just because it leaves it so nice All right, so we're making some progress on this paint <clears throat> You will see a couple spots all around the vehicle such as this one this one um, I'm gonna I'm going ahead and just kind of wet sanding everything like this pillar I went ahead and wet sanded this just because I want to get the this to look really nice so um, a lot of my troubled areas I went ahead and wet sanded where I feel that you know it needs correction so couple more spots there but it is looking good looking really good shout out to this to this customer for um, bringing us she got us some uh, some uh, <coughs> cooling towels nice and cool she was like here so y'all can stay cool and um, got us that little fan over there so we are we are we're in heaven right now so All right, so after removing the CarMax lettering, um, there was still some ghosting. And when we say ghosting, it's pretty much what you see here. It's just you can still see the CarMax letters, right? So what I'm using here is 3M wet sand um, or 3M sandpaper, right? And I am sanding down the, um, the area where it said CarMax. Yes the uh, paint was quite clear <coughs> quite thin on this area so i needed to be very careful that i did not like overdo it all i want at this point is to just eliminate a little bit better the carmax so i did one more pass here and then after this second pass uh it definitely looked mu <coughs> much better so uh, the second time, I literally just left it as is, and then I polished it over, and it literally looks way better now. So, guys, everything was going great until um, I think Ivan couldn't open the door, 
right obviously we can open it through the inside but um somehow he misplaced the keys so we are on a on a quick break on the search for the missing keys even though he has a key holder right here he um i guess misplaced them so we're on the hunt what happened ivan I think we're in already like a good 20 minutes looking for the keys. <laughs> it gets that little, gotta get that, get that hydration in. Fun fact, when you drink your Gatorade, you end up finding that key right, watch, watch. So I wanted to showcase a little bit on how I wet sanded the pillars down. So again, when I wet sand, I'm strictly trying to stay with 3000 just so I don't run into any issues later, right? Or future <coughs> or any future circumstances for the customer. So I will use 3000 um, sandpaper, sand this down, and you'll see these little like black spots that I'm hitting right now. I want it to look even so that when i come back and polish it it polishes it out nicely so now i have gone ahead and fixed those little issues of where the black areas is and it's ready to be polished so be very careful be very gentle when doing this don't overdo it by trying to chase perfection because that is when you will run into a major issue Check it out. What do you think, Adrian? My God, she looks like a brand new girl. Thanks, good. Oh, Look at your tires and your paint. Beautiful. I don't see any scratches. It's like she's brand new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Check that out. Can't even tell I got dogs. <laughs> Honeybee is not going to be happy. You removed all traces of her. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> it's brand new. And then I went ahead and uh, I washed your engine for you. Make it look. Wow. Now it all matches. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. And that concludes today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end. This one was definitely one of those projects where it was very fun and very satisfying because really this paint from the beginning was very, very oxidized, real faded. But hey, now, I mean, hopefully the camera can do some justice on this paint, but it turned out so well so so well um to win the video let's talk a little bit about pricing um again i believe that everybody who details is able to achieve what i have achieved all these years shoot in reality you can achieve my type of pricing in less and i really hope you can achieve that goal i know a lot of people are always saying man i wish i could get customers like yours and I'm not lucky. You know, people are like, man, you're so lucky. It's not luck. I believe that providing an exceptional service, building your detailing platform from the get-go, demonstrating what you're able to provide 
and backing up truly what you say you're going to be doing it goes a long way and as long as you're able to um, demonstrate and explain to the customers truly the value that you bring um, customers will buy right i i don't set i don't force sell but i just want to make sure customers understand <coughs> what they're going to be getting so engine bay detail it was a hundred dollars obviously i think in the beginning of the video i said i was actually going to do this for free so don't um we didn't add the engine bay detail to that package um the interior detail started at 300 based off the condition price does subject to change um, so it was 300 but due to excessive pet hair um, there was so much buildup on the carpet sand and i think you know it just hasn't been detailed in a while interior detailed finished at 500 dollars the exterior received a very thorough one-step paint correction um, to remove a lot of the uh, fade, uh, a lot of that dullness, a lot of that oxidation that the paint had, remove some scratches. We also wet sanded um, a lot of the areas on the vehicle um, just to kind of blend it in a little bit. Um, that one ran uh, all together with the wet sanding was $2,000 for the wet sanding. We did the one-step paint correction and we did the Max Shine Graphene coating so all in this was a $2,500 um, $2,500 day now take it or leave it however you wish it was an extensive extensive project there was a lot of things um, that we needed to correct in order to bring the results the customer wanted as long as you explain to your customers truly what you're going to be doing, what the objective is, what they want, match all that together and give them a plan, give them a package that is going to speak for itself. And customers were amazed at really how well this vehicle came out. Um, but anyways, I don't want to make this video long. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend as always. Um, God bless you. Tomorrow I'm going to get to enjoy my Saturday. It's actually uh, they're celebrating <coughs> celebrating my son's early birthday uh, so that's what we're gonna be at um, so if my son sees this happy early birthday carlitos i love you um, the big 11 his birthday's on uh, july 19th um, but they're gonna celebrate it earlier so hey can't complain anyways god bless you guys and we'll see you guys on the next video